What's up? What's up? What's up? Been a few weeks. I've been busy. But I'm back. Here on the old podcasting platform. Which is not quite, you know, a platform yet. But maybe it soon will be. You know, I'm sure you guys are probably getting tired of me saying that. But, uh, you know, I, I'm i trying here. You know, I really want this podcast to take off. And, you know, I've been doing it sporadically and um, doing episodes here and there. And then I come back to it. You know, I'll record one, take some time off, come back. I got a lot of things going on. Multiverse. You know, I've spoke about this before plenty of times. Um, so, but anyway, I'm not going to waste a lot of your time because I know your ears are precious and, you know, I don't want to be talking into them longer than, you know, I have to. So, anyway. So, Ghost, y'all with me? Those little guys in cheats? <laughs> what do you think about them? That is the topic of episode five of Son of Mechanic Ghost. So, if they're not real, why do the stories persist? You know, I mean, there's been stories forever, for millions of years, um, about, you know, unattached entities that are not within human bodies. I mean, it's it's kind of a thing. You go back through history and you look and um, there's a lot of stories about spirits in, you know, in a way. So, if they're not a thing, why do these stories continually you know, continue to persist, um, much like aliens. So, <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. I want to, I want to talk about the aliens thing. So that report, and you know, we know the report that I'm talking about. They come out. So basically, it was like there are no aliens, folks, and we uh, do not have alien technology, but we do have technology that might could be confused as alien technology. Well, I mean, what kind of psychological mind trick is that? That is a, uh, I'm just going to be honest, that's just a mind F right there. <laughs> you know, it's like we have things that are man-made that will blow your mind. They're not alien, but they'll blow your mind. Well then, okay, so why are you not sharing them? If we as mankind made these things, why are you not sharing that we are, you know, advanced and uh, people are creating this amazing technology? I, it's just that report, I just, you know, so dumb. And I think most people, I mean, we all know that that report was basically not going to you know, state in any way, shape, or form that the government had any sort of alien technology or alien spaceships. You know, I I don't even know why we thought, but I don't think we really did think, honestly, that it would say such. Um, but it's just crazy. It's a crazy world that we're living in that this is like literally um, something that's out there now. And so it's being discussed because I do believe we are on the precipice of, you know, discovering that we're not alone and that life is a lot more interesting than, you know, what we've been led to believe. I'm, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, just mark my words. So anyway, moving on back to the ghost thing. So <laughs> I like them, ghost. <laughs> so I want to take you guys back to 2004. Mikey 77. So that's that's my brand now. So I had um Adelphia Cable, which would go on to be bought out by Comcast. Uh, and I had this thing called TiVo. And so on my TiVo, there would be episodes recorded of Ghost Hunters, that sci-fi show. So that's right. I was an original fanboy for the show. That started, well, I don't I don't think it really started. Well, it didn't start ghost hunting shows. But it certainly was like the pinnacle of popularity at the time. So, I mean, it, it brought attention to ghost hunting, I guess I should say. Um, so, but I think the show would start not only mine, but like a lot of people's fascinations 
with the procedure of ghost hunting. Because, you know, like I said, I never really minus ghost busters, <laughs> of course, saw a ghost investigation underway. I mean, had any of us, you know, really? And man, I was hooked, like, on that show for so many years. Um, I was there for the Halloween specials, um, Ghost Hunters International, all of it. You know, give me some cheese sticks. <laughs> I remember I would, like, eat cheese sticks and stuff mushrooms and watch the Halloween specials because I was a fat kid. I was that person. I loved that show. <laughs> so the idea of ghosts or hauntings, um, I, I think that's always kind of, you know, fascinated me. Um, so, but through my years, I guess, I don't know, how should I say this? Um, so through my conscious awakening, I guess is what I'm trying to say and whatnot. So I have this new idea. Um are like a new filter at to which I can sort of look at the ghost and paranormal phenomena. So I'm looking at it, you know, this way. So we more or less know that there are other dimensions. Or well, I mean, science kind of says that there is. Um, and there's a lot of credible theories that there are overlapping dimensions. Um, and also, too, uh, there's a theory that all... Basically, time is happening at once. I mean, as hard as that is to like wrap your brain around, all time simultaneously is happening at once. So, what if ghost phenomena is possibly like trapped echoes from energy imprints? Or what if they are simply like other dimensions crossing into ours? See what I'm saying? And again, these are concepts that I know are, you know, kind of hard to like wrap your mind around. But throughout the journey that I have took mentally, spiritually, and in the area of expanded consciousness, I, for whatever reason, understand this metaphysical or, you know what, let's just call them concepts. And I have a few experiences of ghost-like phenomena in my life, but one that I absolutely always like to talk about is sometime around, I would say, I don't know, 2015 maybe or so, me and my fellow Han Hoppers went on one of those uh, ghost hunting tours that come along after ghost hunters. And we got to use all the, you know, equipment things that, that you know, ghost hunters use on the shows. Uh, this was one of those kind of things that it was a tour uh, a little thing that you went on and you got to use the equipment that they use like on the shows. Um, so at the second location of the knot that we went to, which was a graveyard, uh, the first location was a covered bridge. Um, I had that crazy phenomena of battery drain. And that is a thing that happened. Um, so I didn't really want to take my expensive DLSR camera. Um, and of course, back then, phone cameras were really not where they are now. So my mom had a point-and-shoot camera, and she was offering it to me to basically take along and use it to take pictures of the knot. And this is completely true. Um, I used a thing at first, at the very first location, which was uh, a covered bridge, like I said a second ago. Um, Fine. Second location, the graveyard, got out, turned the thing on, very briefly got a full power icon, and then immediately it went dead. I kept trying to turn it back on, and it would not come on. It just, it just wouldn't. So the camera took two AA batteries. So this was before internal batteries on cameras was kind of a thing. And this was like a early point and shoot camera back in those days. And it was absolutely dead as a doornail. I mean, there was literally nothing. 
uh, and these were brand new batteries that I had bought at the gas station when we left to go to meet the man who was taking us on this ghost hunt. True story. Brand new batteries. Brand new Duracell batteries. So, um, I don't really know how that would play into, you know, some sort of multi-dimensional um, crossover. I don't know. I just know that it happened. And the phenomena, I can, that can, that particular phenomena, battery drain, I can confirm it exists. Um, so, tell me what you guys think. What do you think is the possible explanation for Ghost? Some sort of, like, interdimensional crossover? Um, truly spirits? Energy remnants? Or even if you don't believe in them? I want to know. Tell me. I really want to get, you know, discussions going in my comment sections of these shows. So, ghost hunting's fun. Talking about ghost hunting is fun. So, I want to know what you think they are. Please comment in the comments. Like and subscribe. And uh, I guess that's really kind of it for this episode. And uh, so, I'll see you when I sit down and record another one. So, uh, later.